Hello, this is Judy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am working on sketch number 18 for Chrissy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, round number nine. Sketch is by Scrappy Sisters, in particular Katie Scott. The prompt from Dottie About Flair is chevrons and arrows. And there's also hexagons in the photograph, so, or the sketch, so I can use those. I pulled out a bunch of thin cuts to use with the hexagons, some leaves and floral and hearts. And the photos are of a dinner that I went to. And the story is actually going to be the funny faces my husband makes. And my daughter and her husband were with us, so I want to include those, them in there, even though there's only two photos in the sketch. I'm going to do three, which is fine, right? So I brought in these in full bloom colors again because he's got teal and I've got yellow, so it works perfect. And I want to incorporate this beautiful piece. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And this yellow dot, this really soft type of uh, animal print almost, maybe. Yeah, that side's really busy. This word page that is black. And I got some plain cardstock. And then this piece is really nice. But look at this background. This is some of the wood grain from our last catalog. And it matches this background perfect. So there's my chevron background already. So I put down a piece of that white cardstock I use as my bases. And I'm going to run some of this through my thin cut machine and get these cut out. And the sketch really is in a diagonal design. So it'll be easy to do. Just layer things down here. And this should be a quick video. I thought I would color the edges of this paper because it looks really stark white underneath the top layer. I cut this to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So I brought out my Distress Oxide inks that I thought would match with the color. And it's the light teal color. So I think Speckled Egg is close. The Salvage Patina is a little bit more blue. But I can use both of them. It'll be so subtle that you really, it won't make a big difference. So I'm just going to go from the edge and go in a little bit like this. That'll just bring some different color in from underneath. I don't want it totally covered. Just, uh... A little bit so let me get this wiped off it's a brand new color so it's juicy so now we'll do the speckled egg it really adds a lot i love how that looks okay so now I think I'm going to add some color to this piece, too, just to give it a little interest where the photos are going to be. And I also want to add some splatters, so let's get some on there. some water to it with my water brush. I want big drops that will be opaque. So hopefully it doesn't look like it's going to stay opaque once it dries. All right, so let's add some white gesso to it. And that's going to show up a little better, but it's not completely dry yet, so we'll see. A 
Oh, that's so pretty. It just added life to it all, right? So I'm going to be working on my title while my background is drying. I'm trying to hurry it up with a little heater. So I'm going to put the title on. I put it on uh, white and I used our UV coated cardstock. I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom in here so you can maybe see the shine. It's so pretty and it cuts so well in the Cricut. So I'm going to put it on this hexagon and this is on Harbor, our new Harbor paper. I want to put some stitched lines around this with my gel pens. Let's see. These are both 08, so I guess that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use these. You can start them off on your finger for whatever reason. The warmth and softness of your finger helps that ball to roll. And you're going to just lightly touch it to the paper. Don't press down too hard or the ball doesn't roll as nice. And I like to do a back and forth little motion. It seems to give it like two coats of the, the white ink. So that's about the layout I think I'm going to do. So I need to do the title on here. I'm going to do it this way. And I've got it still on here. And I made this piece with uh, my Cricut. I went on and I was going to do funny face. And I always check the phrases. They have a new option to check just for phrases. So I put in funny face. And um, this came up. So I said, oh, I like that even better. So put on a happy face. It is. All right, so there's my title. All right, so I got together all the little pieces I had left over from that previous projects. And there are quite a few other items I can use from the sticker sheet. There's a bunch of flowers left and the leaves. So I'm going to try to incorporate them. I think it's going to, I'm going to use this as it's a good life down at the bottom. There's this little arrow here. And they put the title here. It's okay. I can put my title up there. And this portion, I cut out a couple of more hexagons pieces from paper I had left over. And these are die cut flower pieces that I made in case I want to incorporate those. So we'll see um, my piece I put under here to flatten it because the heater made it warp. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It should flatten in my scrapbook. This piece can go down at the bottom like this. And let's I'm gonna put it on some foam here. It took the glue off my finger. <laughs> there, that's a good way to clean your fingers. Put it on a sticker. All right, so I think all of these big flowers are going to be too much. The little flowers, let's see. Nope. I have it tucked under. Let's see what these ones will look like. I like the look of these flowers a little better than the realistic ones because it's such a fun layout, right? I'll add a couple of 
couple of splashes of yellow. And the blue. This can go maybe as an arrow element type. I like adding that stripe in there. And I can bring half of it down here. Let's see if we can get some black in there. Oh, there's another butterfly. Let's see, maybe, maybe not. The black might be too much. The black is behind the photo, so you think it would be okay, but it actually, it looks pretty intense. Where's my blue heart? There it is. I think I like the solid one better. I need to think about journaling. Let's see, is there anything on here? I like better together. I could add that, but I don't really know if I need to. I might put it up here. Celebrate the good. That's a different kind of color. Happy days. That would be good. A happy face. But I do like just the sweetest. I could put that here for them. She was so pregnant. <laughs> She had she had the baby about three weeks later, so and there are some little hearts here too. I could add those in. All right, so I'm gonna get it down. The layout is complete and I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad that I like my layouts. <laughs> I say that like in every video. But yeah, it's I'm really happy with it. Again, the photos are really center, even though I do have some heavy-duty embellishments on here that draw your eye. So it goes around the page like this, which keeps the photos in the center, and it does have that diagonal design. The sketch I stayed pretty close to. I used the elements that they wanted. I love how the background came out, and I know it'll flatten in my album, so I'm okay with that. I do like putting the pops of yellow because it's such an intense color. You don't want to use a lot. But uh, this one here might be a little bit too much of it showing, but I'm okay with it. It's just I wanted to mention that because, you know, there you see it there and it's like, but people are used to starting here to look at things like from your newspaper you always read in that top left corner to start reading so this is where your eye generally starts anyway so that's okay so i hope you like that make sure you check out everybody else in the video description that's following along with this sketch and thank you so much for joining me close-ups at the end have a great day